Hello and welcome to the April 6th Hemp Show powered by CanTrade. My name is Mark Ristelli. I'm the CEO of CanTrade and the host of the Hemp Show. Next up on the Hemp Show is Jessica Williams with Skies Herbal. Jessica was born and raised in Austin, Texas, where she has been perfecting her hemp craft for several years. Prior to getting into the hemp industry, Jessica was a collegiate basketball player and post-college she served in the military. After years of physically demanding activities, Jessica now suffers from excess, excessive back pain and severe nerve pain. Looking beyond traditional medicine, herbal remedies have always been appealing to Jessica. With the passing of the 2018 Farm Bill, a farm bill forgotten family land became Skies Herbal. Skies Herbal offers handmade lab tested products you can trust. Every product is created from the in-house hemp grown from seed to harvest with love. Skies Herbal is a small batch farm and one of a kind. Thank you very much for joining us today, Jessica, and welcome to The Hemp Show. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. Awesome. So let's, let's talk about this. So you were a collegiate basketball player. Um, you know, I mentioned when we, we had spoken, I was a former football player. Um, you know, and I, to be totally honest, I, I wasn't really, I had no idea about hemp CBD and I was not a cannabis user while I played. However, I wish I had considering the amount of opiates that I pumped into my body. So, so did you have a, did you have a similar experience as far as with sports and then into the military? Yes, I did. Um, actually, up on my um, exit to the military, um, before I had my first child, um, I was really sick. Um, so while in the military, my doctor prescribed marijuana, not necessarily prescribed, but suggested that I use it um, because I was unable to keep anything down. And um, it was just, it was hard for me to sleep, eat, basically do anything. So upon doing that, I, it, it opened my eyes completely to a different option for medical and, you know, herbal remedies for situations like that I was in. I could not literally keep anything down. So the only thing that I could do was smoke marijuana and it helped so much. Um, it was really shocking that my doctor was okay with it because being in Texas is not legal, as you all know. Um, so it's, it's been, you know, a struggle, but um, moving past that and getting to where I am now, I, I've learned that uh, it's not going to be easy, especially here in Texas. I'm, I'm one of the people who am, I'm doing hemp, I'm growing hemp in the hopes of growing marijuana. So that's where I'm starting from. Okay. I've got a really, really brief story for you there. And I, um, I went to a wedding in Texas and um, unknowing to me at the time, I, at the wedding, I was known as the weed guy. Oh my gosh. And, but, but nobody, it was unspoken, right? But at some point during that wedding, every single person in the wedding had come up to me to talk to me individually about their want to experience cannabis or their personal use or something along those lines. Yet when somebody else walked by, everybody just shut up. So it was like, nobody would speak to anybody else, but everybody at that wedding at some point had spoken to me because I was the weed guy. It was, it was so ridiculous. Um, so I, I can get how you're, they're fighting a bit of an uphill battle, you know, being, being in a state like Texas um, with just the environment and then also kind of late to the game as far as the regulatory body. Um, you know, now as far as getting into it because of, because of the uh, remedies that it provides for personal pain, you know, what really what really got you into, um, you know, that's, let's say cannabis and hemp as a whole, um, you know, what prompted you to get started with Sky's Herbal? Well, with the laws coming out and I'm a, I'm a user, I'm a consumer. And I honestly feel like a lot of companies um, have, you know, owners and, you know, everyone who's in charge of the company who don't necessarily consume the product and they don't know how it affects them personally or how it can affect, you know, the body as a whole. Um, so with me being a consumer of cannabis um, period and with the land, like uh, you mentioned earlier that my family had and the new laws, I saw it as an opportunity to one, bring light to the plant and try to, you know, 
help with the regulatory issues for it as far as Texas goes and to also do something with the land. Our land's just been sitting there and the land doesn't come cheap and they're not making any more of it. So a lot of my family has sold off other land that we had. We had 40 acres in here in Texas as well. And my family sold all of that about five years ago. And I just, it's, it's crazy because they're not making any more land. So right. it's and I wanted to make sure that our land stayed in the family, no one sold it and also a way to profit off of it. Um, so that's how Skies Herbal came about. Now, now prior to starting Skies Herbal and, and, you know, growing, growing hemp on that land, did you have any experience growing at all or, or kind of understanding of the plant and, and anything there? So me and my brother have played around with growing plants since probably about 2016. Um, so okay. we've grown a few, you know, here and there, but not on this scale. And this last year, 2020 was crazy because we learned a lot. It was our first year growing along with all the other farmers here in Texas. So we weren't alone right. with, you know, starting something new. Um, but we knew more about cannabis than, you know, most of the other farmers here in Texas probably know about um, just because we've been long, you know, consumers and we have you know, grown a few plants over the years. So um, I did not have any prior experience, but I hit the ground running and we have some really good quality stuff. So I've heard, so. Nice, nice. So let's talk a little bit about the experience. What was that experience like? Like if you can provide any details, any context, and then also what did you learn? What hurdles did you hit? Cause I mean, everybody hits a wall sometime, whether whether it's the first spider mite you've ever seen. I'm not saying you got spider mites at all. I'm just saying, um, you know, something along those lines, right? Yeah, we had those. Um, oh, I, no. I know, I know. I yeah, jinx, I did like, I jinx you? That was, a, that was a couple years ago. It was a couple years ago. We're oh, good. Okay, okay. <laughs> it was a while back when we were, you know, first starting off. Um, but I would say the weather, as far as outdoor growing, um, you know, clearing the land out and tilling and, you know, disking and getting the land actually prepared to plant was, that was, I, I'm, I'm, I'm military background. So I'm, I believe in do it yourself. And, you know, of course I had other people doing it, but I wanted to learn how to do it myself. So I was out there tilling with the people that I had helping me as well. But I think that the weather, as far as outdoor growing goes, you can't control anything. In Texas, it was either burning hot or it was completely flooded so i think you know dealing with the elements for outdoor growing was the biggest challenge that we had to overcome so we're definitely going to do more indoor growing so that's that's the biggest thing that i did learn okay okay very cool so let's talk about the products you know once once you figured out the grow you got some you got some killer products coming out so or that, that came from all that material so let's talk about what products you're creating from the skies herbal farm Okay, so our top product is our hemp honey. And sorry, I, sorry, sorry, I missed that. Hemp honey? Hemp honey, yes. Honey, it's okay. Honey infused with the hemp. Um, okay. There's a few other companies that have it out there, but I we infuse our product with the actual whole plant hemp. We don't just put the CBD oil in there. Like we put the whole plant in there and infuse it with it. So when you taste the honey, it has an actual nice herbal flavor to it. So okay. I've tasted some of the other companies and they don't necessarily have that. You can tell it has a little CBD in it, but it doesn't have that full flavor. Um, so we have hemp honey. Um, we have- no, no, real quick on the hemp honey, um, by whole plant, do you mean like a whole, you mean a whole plant extract? Like we're or... putting the whole bud in there. like the whole oh the actual so the actual raw the actual, actual fibrous yeah. material After bud. okay decarbed. yeah 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 it's decarbed and broke down but it's the actual okay. whole bud actual flower that you would smoke is being infused into the honey okay you just you made my mouth water just, know, <laughs> just, yeah. just throw that out there that's our top product i tell you everyone loves it um we also have um coconut oil a cbd coconut oil that we you know infuse pretty much the same way um, we have uh, the actual, the, the whole flower, different um, flowers um, that we have available for purchase as well. And um, CBD body butter, it's uh, shea butter, it's all natural organic oils. And um, that is our probably number two seller. Um, my old ladies love it. They go through the jars like crazy. So um, it's really <laughs> good for arthritis and muscle soreness and, you know, good for athletes as well too. I have, I have a cousin who's an athlete now. And so he's been trying it out for me, giving me all his reviews and it's pretty awesome. So that's our number two seller right now is the body butter. Um, and that's also used with the CBD oil that, you know, that we make in house as well. And we also have gummies and yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much what we have right now. We're working on some more stuff that 
we're going to be rolling out later this year. Um, nice. Is there anything? Is there anything you want to give us a hint on as far as what's what's coming down the pipeline, or is it all? Um, is, it, is it top secret, um, hidden hidden behind you know, the, uh, the door you can't walk Delta through? Eight. Yeah, yeah. Delta Eight is you know hot right now, so we're working on some Delta Eight stuff that's you know made from our hemp as well. So everything made from our hemp, our Delta Eight everything is going to be from our in-house grown hemp so okay that's what we have come up pretty soon now, now we talked with uh marine earlier with kind of the regulations and stuff we talked about uh you know quite a bit about the whole 0.03 percent thc you know and that that completely arbitrary like basically level that they've given people that it has to go that it can't go above did you have any issues there as far as um you know having to harvest was that was that something that was kind of always in the back of your head as far as like, oh gosh, we can't test, we can't test hot on this because if we do, we're losing our crop. Yeah. I, I did a few practice runs before I did the big shebang. So I knew that we were going to be in regulations. I think the, the highest I had was 0.4, but we have up until 0.5. So really I think it's like 0.6, honestly, but, um, I, I've managed to stay under, so I haven't really worried or stressed about that, but I, I believe that it's absolutely ridiculous and I can't wait until it changes. <laughs> right. Well, let's, let's hope, let's cross our fingers. I mean, yeah. I'm not, I'm not optimistic about things going the opposite direction. They typically only go toward the regulatory direction yeah. further and further, um, you know, so, but we can all, we can always hope now, as far as, uh, let's talk about the, let's talk about your growing, your growing methods a bit here. You said that you, you know, were out there testing, you did a dry run. It sounds like you're extremely hands-on at your farm. Yes, I am. I am. I watch and see everything. I want to make sure that my product from beginning to end is exactly how I would want it to be. So I want to make sure that my consumers, you know, get the same thing. So yes, I am very hands-on and we're a small batch farm. So I'm able to do that. I don't have a hundred acres that I have to manage. So it's easy for me to do, you know, what I'm doing. So it right. works. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so how, how, um, how big is it? So how, how big ten is acres. it? We have 10 acres. Mm -hmm. oh, I mean, that's, that's still pretty, I mean, that's a pretty big size right there. Yeah. But you know, there's, you know, bigger ones. So <laughs> I, yeah, there's, there's monstrous ones, but I mean, I, I would say, I mean, obviously you have a much better experience here, but 10 acres is still able to kind of be hands-on, right? You get to hundred acres and it's, I mean, you're not, you don't have any idea what's like going on. No, in the yeah, you don't know what's going on in your plants and then everything is going through a machine and you don't know what you don't know and you right. can't, see what you can't see. So I definitely want to stay the size I am. I don't think I would be any bigger than like 20, 30 acres. Um, but we also do indoor indoor grow. We do hydroponic growing okay. and indoor growing as well. So all of that's indoor. We don't have everything outdoor. Because like I said, over last year, you know, we learned a lot about the, you know, the heat in Texas and then Ooh, the excessive flooding and rain that we had. Yeah, it was really, really bad last year and everyone suffered. So everyone from Texas knows what I'm talking about. But um, yeah. you know, we're and definitely going to do more indoor growing, you know, this next go round. And, and typically Texans, um, at least with the, the weather, they don't really need to worry about a freeze, obviously, except for the freeze that just happened. That was but, random. But did you have, but did you have plants? You didn't have plants in the ground at the time, right? I had or like 15 mother plants that I still had. They were all indoor, but with the power and everything that went out, I, I only lost a little bit. I just had a few mother plants. I didn't have much out there. Okay. So it's not, not nearly as much of an issue. I know in California, like a freeze right, yeah, was destroyed. They, everything was destroyed. Yeah. I couldn't imagine having that much out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally brutal. Yeah, I got lucky. This was really cool. So if, if you're interested in connecting with Jessica and Skies Herbal, please add them to your network on Cantrade. You can also place orders and ask questions directly from the Skies Herbal wholesale store, post in the webinar chat, also in the Cantrade feed and in the podcast and YouTube show notes. Thank you very much for being here today, Jessica. Thank you. Awesome. This was fun.